Okay, number, what number was that? Number seven. Number eight is asking us, how do you get cotangent, cosecant, secant on my calculator? Okay, so it's more so a trigonometric ratio, right? Uh, this is number eight, I believe. Is this number eight or number seven? I believe I did number seven. Yeah, this is number eight. Oh, what did I do? Why did I do that? How did I do that? Oh, sorry. Um, number eight here is asking, I want to get these following functions. I want cotangent, cosecant, and secant. So how do I get these guys? Because they don't belong in my calculator, right? So I, right now I'm currently using a Casio FX991. And basically you're not, in the calculator, you're actually not given these ratios. But what you have to do is actually know the uh, reciprocal ratios for us to uh, figure out our, um, our functions here. So let me write them, let me write something down first. Let me write down a table here. So again, I know that sine, I have sine x here, I have cos x, and then I have tangent x here. These guys are my primary, are these guys, actually, let me, let me do a chart for you. I, I think it's a lot easier if I do a chart. Do a little t-chart here. Uh, actually, wait, should I redo one of these guys? Yeah, uh, let's see, let's do, Something like that. Okay, so I have a T chart here, and basically I have a list of these are primary trig ratios, and this here is a secondary, or this here would be the not a secondary, but this here would be a uh, reciprocal trig ratio. So, for example, I have sine theta, I have cos. Theta, I think yeah, theta is just an angle, right? Tangent of theta here. The reciprocal would be, of sine here would be cosecant of theta. Reciprocal of cosine is secant of theta. And tangent here is cotangent of theta. And what does that equal to? Well, if it's just a reciprocal, it's one over our primary trig ratio. So this here is actually one over sine theta. This here is one over cos theta. This here is one over tangent theta and these guys here are my um, reciprocal trig ratios and you can you, we can't actually use these uh, we can't actually plug them into a calculator but all you're gonna have to do under calculator is simply just plug in one divided by and then our primary trig ratio as well so this solution um, is correct because they're doing one over tangent of a which is cotangent one over sine of a which is cosecant and one over secant here is cosine one over cosine here so the solution here is correct and again what they did was they did really wrote it out exactly how i did as well so cosecant of a here is sine a secant of a here is cos a and then cotangent of a here is one over tangent a as well so the solution is correct good analysis so this is what you would plug in into your calculator uh let me highlight this in blue these guys here are going to be plugged into your calculator here Thank you.